Hey, Matthew and Brianna and Emily, it's Wednesday, in case you can't tell, I finally got out of my dorm room and found the Tablet Center, just like the commons, and behind me is this awesome guy who is staring us down, I just imagine it the entire time. Anyway, so in case you can't tell, I'm a little bit sick, I'm stiffly, like, every five seconds, which is really exciting, um, but even though I'm sick, I got to do one of the, my favorite things to do today, which is registering people to vote, and I know you don't understand it, but I get so excited about registering people to vote, because it's like, you are exercising your right to democracy, thank you so much! So, I did that today for like, an hour and a half, um, down the Southern Center on the second, first floor, which is, I'm on the second floor, on the first floor, got all these tables, and people can sit there, like, advertise their, like, t-shirts or some sort of organization, so I did, um, registration for student assembly, which is really exciting, um, and so as people walked down the hallway, I asked them, are you interested to vote in Williamsburg? And I, a lot of times, got yes, sometimes got no, which is even more exciting than a yes, because then you can register them right there, and they're so exciting, and I got a lot of absentee ballot people, which is fine, but not as exciting, and then you have people who said no thank you, and I don't understand people who said no thank you, because that's like, I don't want the option to exercise my right of democracy. Like, why, dude? Why? I want you to vote. I've wanted to vote since I was 14, and now that I finally can, I am so excited and I want everyone else to be able to vote too. And, like, exercise the right to democracy. I don't even care if you don't want to vote. Like, you just register and not exercise your right to vote. That's totally fine. But at least register and have the option to do so if you choose to. Because you only have like three weeks left, or two weeks left, whenever October 6th is, unless it's your last day to do so. And you really don't want to like miss out on that vote of presidential election voting. So, anyway, sorry, I got excited about this. Um, so that's what I did for an hour today before lunch, even though I'm sick. So, yeah. Um, also, today I went down to this exchange, which is the student exchange, a weird name. I wanted to do some vitamin water because it's quasi healthy because I'm sick and I just kind of wanted some drink that was not water because I don't like water that much. Um, didn't have any, so as a backup plan, I got sour patch watermelons because that's obviously the next best thing to possibly get to fight off a cold sour patch watermelons. So, um, anyway, uh, I also got a package from my mother today. I thought it just had like a thermometer and some nascent accident, but there's more in it. If you shake it, it sounds like more. But I really couldn't tell you what's all in there because I can't open the package because I'm physically incapable of doing so. I know it's really sad. I've tried and I tried and I tried. It just doesn't work. This package doesn't like me. It's that guy up there. He's too scary. I can't open it with him around. So, anyway, some comments on the past videos. Madison, I loved your map, but you left out Puerto Rico, which means that you made Guam and the U.S. Virgin Islands and um, the Pacific Islands state, and you didn't make Puerto Rico a state. I'm pretty sure Puerto Rico does not appreciate that, so I hope that you're happy with for yourself now. Okay. Secondly, Brianna, I would have watched your video, but I really couldn't. I was too sick to understand what you were talking about. I got to the author signing part, and then my brain just kind of exploded and or melted. Um, but I watch that as soon as I am well enough to focus on hard concepts like how the universe works. Um, also, sorry I didn't help you with your Arabic yesterday. I went to bed at like 8.30, so I was really tired and sick. So, speaking of sleeping, the other day I took NyQuil, which has an ingredient that I'm allergic to in it, but I didn't check the ingredients before I took it. So, at like 3.45 in the morning, I woke up with a hallucination that I was a banana. So... Don't take medicine you're allergic to. That is not a tribe choice. Oh, by the way. Sorry. William Mary Slingo. Slingo? Sl I, I wanted to say slang, and then I said lingo, and it just became slingo. That's a new word. Uh, William Mary Slang. Uh, tribe choice is like good choice. I don't... whatever. Um, so that was not a good choice. So, stay away from things you're allergic to, like medicine that causes you to hallucinate that you are some sort of fruit. Um, anyway, Madison, I will see you on Friday. Also, the Tablet Center has this really cool staircase, which I think is like the awesomest staircase I've ever seen in my entire life. And I don't know, maybe I'm just really excited by it, but it I think it's really, really awesome. So, if you ever come here, take that staircase, it's really awesome. Okay.